Hello everyone, I'm Kisa, the Natural Hair Diva, and I just wanted to do a really, really quick video and uh, talk about wearing a wig. How do you wear a wig? How a wig looks? What do you need to do to protect your hair? Um, I actually have a blog, thenaturalhairdiva.com, the as in T-H-E, naturalhairdiva.com, and I talked about how I'm wigging out for the holidays. It always feels wonderful to me to wear wigs uh, during the winter months because it's so cold and I actually hate having my hair exposed and all of that great stuff. It just seems to provide another level of protection for me too because in the past I have been challenged with sinus slash allergy issues as well. So just to keep my head all nice and warm and cozy, it's just like a wonderful option for me. Well today it's not so cold. It's um, a couple of days into January and we're dealing with like 50 degree temperatures. So it was an excellent day. Excellent, excellent for me to uh, actually co-wash my hair today so you can see the end result underneath here I have lots and lots of uh, twists on my hair and I will wear my hair out just as soon as these twists dry but um, this is a Sunday so I may have to give myself into tomorrow or maybe even Tuesday before my hair is dry because I have several conditioners on my hair because I'm a type 4C my hair likes conditioners and lots of them so I'm gonna give it a chance to dry so you can see that I actually have this uh, black I don't know if you call it a do-rag or I don't know what you call it and, you know I'm sitting here thinking I'm ta gonna talk about putting on a wig but you know what I would love to invest in some more of these type headbands or wraps or whatever I think they would actually make a great option. I've never really considered them much, but I think they would make a great option for tying my hair and giving me some unique styles too when I don't want to deal with the wigs. But anyway, um, they recommend when you wear a wig oftentimes that you wear a stocking cap, just like a nylon stocking cap. I don't really like nylon stocking caps. I, I will use them, I will wear them, but long term I don't like to because I think those can be very harsh. Uh, and, and cause dry, brittle hair for us in Team Natural. So if you want to go that route and it works for you, then by all means go for it. But this is what I would prefer. You know, and some people may say it's, it's crazy, it's asinine to wear this silk uh, scarf under your head while you're wearing a wig, but you know what? It works for me. And as I'm, I've tied it a little tighter too, it, it's nicking the moisture out of my head. But anyway, I purchased a wig uh, from Hair and More uh, near Birmingham. It's actually in the Bessemer community on the Bessemer Super Highway, Hair and More. And why don't I want to try it this way? Now the wig looked nothing like what it will look on my head. It's the it's model model uh, is the brand by the way. Let's see where I can tell you to go. It just says modelmodelhair.com if you're interested in going and taking a look at what they have. And as we get ready to kind of flip this on my head, I feel like it's almost a sporting event here. But um, modelmodel.com is where this wig comes from. But I purchased it out of um, Hair and More local beauty supply store, okay? So you make that work for you wherever you are. Um, my mother interestingly asked me about this little black band around my head, and she said, oh, well, you can see that. And I thought, well, she's absolutely right. So I'm going to show you that I'm going to try my best to kind of pull it back and make it work where it doesn't. You can't see that I have it on. But you know what? I'm okay even if people can see me with it on because you know what? It could almost look like a headband if I pulled it down a little bit more. I mean, people wear the headbands uh, as well. So here's the result of it. Now, is this the wig right out of the box? Absolutely not. In fact, it had a little more curl action going, uh, a little tighter curl pattern. But as I continue to pull it out each day, it kind of loses the, the tight curl and kind of really goes into a really nice and natural look. And I'll continue to play with it. This is by no means the finished product or whatever, but... Can you believe? I don't think it looks half bad. And the way my style is cut it, she charged me 10 bucks to take this wig and cut it. I mean, the hair was like way down my back, like past what you can see on the camera right there, like way past my shoulder, okay? And she cut it. And she said, you know, this will be the, the wig that you go to if you need an option. And uh, if you um, if your hair is just not cooperating, it looks like it's growing right out of your head. Now, for some of you who are wig connoisseurs, you may say, no, it doesn't. I can tell it's a wig. I'm not, okay? So just let me go there with myself. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good to be a wig. I don't think it, look, it looks half bad. Now, I have my Beyonce wig my Kim Kardashian wig, and um, I don't know what you would call this one, but she's a, a blonde, honey. 
uh, I don't know exactly what you call it, and I also have Marilyn Monroe. So I can pull out any one of those four wigs in additions to this one anytime I want. But I, this one, to me, seems to be a more practical choice in the event I need to go to work, having a bad hair day, or in the event that I have just shampooed my hair, like today, or co-washed my hair, and I need another option while it's drying. So I just wanted to show you how simple it is, how versatile wigs can be. There may be mixed opinion, mixed thought about whether or not people want to do it in the natural hair community. Listen, you have to do what works best for you. I have to do what works best for me. My job is to inform you. My job is to give you options and to encourage you along the natural hair journey. And with everything that is in me, I am working to do that. Even if it's something as silly as me throwing a wig on on this video. But really, uh, it's what I advocate, having a backup plan. Um, the Natural Hair Diva is where you go. T-H-E, the Natural Hair Diva .com is where you can go and you can uh, give me your feedback or you can just read some of the other articles in which I give you tips on how to maintain your stay on the natural hair journey. Also there, you'll find my ebook. My ebook is entitled An Easy Natural Hair Care Guide and I preach since I've been on the natural hair journey for almost six years that you have to have a backup plan. I can't think of a better one than a wig. Now, let me issue a word of caution. Good place to insert this here. Am I saying you wear this wig for the next five years? Not necessarily, because wigs, if you can imagine, they can be harsh. You're constantly applying pressure to your head. You're constantly ap applying the pressure to your edges. They can be harsh if you're not careful. There's some people who wear wigs and wear hair extensions and, and they do it long term and it works for them. If that is the case for you, then go for it. Am I an advocate of Kisa doing that? Absolutely not. I would prefer to say, if you can, let your wig or other styling option be it for you in the short term. Because to me, my hair needs to breathe. I like for my scalp to breathe. That's why I wear wigs. Because at night I can still take this wig off and I can maneuver my scalp. My hair can breathe. If I need to take it down, if I need to take my hair down, if I need to oil my scalp, and yes, I'm natural and I do oil my scalp from time to time. If I just need to retwist my hair, if I need to shampoo my hair, if I need to scratch my head, guess what? I can do it without something being permanently attached to my actual hair strands. So do I, again, great option, but in my opinion, a short-term option. And what do I mean by short-term? A couple of weeks, excuse me, a couple of weeks or a couple of months at a time. And for instance, I just had my, I was wearing my own hair the past couple of days, and again, because this was the co-wash day for me, I broke this wig out and I'm wearing it today, and I'll wear it the rest of today. If I need to wear it tomorrow, I'll go back to work. If I need to wear it tomorrow, then guess what? I'll do that too, but it'll be a short-term option because in the next day or two or three, I'll be back to wearing my own hair. And um, think about getting a stylist too when you get your wigs to actually cut them and, and taper it to your face and your style so it looks more believable okay so you can wig out too but not too many people will know it i'm kisa the natural hair diva check us out at the natural hair diva.com and look for some of our daily articles on you staying on the natural hair journey thanks for watching have a great day